You're watching Telecom TV from the Tip Summit at the Fuse 2022 event here in Madrid. And I'm joined now by Yago Tenorio, who is the chairman of Tip and also a fellow and the network architecture director at Vodafone. Yago, it's very good to see you again. It's really nice to see you. Now, we're talking about the, the progress that Tip has made and, and the challenges ahead, because this is a long, long transformational journey our industry is going through. I'd like to ask you, first of all, though, why is Vodafone an active participant in Tip? Well, simple. I think we started with this open run journey in 2014, and very soon we realized that this was this this had some chances to actually succeed and become operational. And at that point, we also realized that you know this is not something that you can do alone. That you is an industry move. If you are to succeed, you need a scale, you need harmonization of requirements, and then we looked for an organization that we like could give us all that. And we found TIP and we were convinced it was instant love. So we entered into the board and we contributed all our progress there. And then that was open run eventually. Great progress so far. Um, how has being involved in TIP, how has it helped Vodafone solve some of its challenges? So I think the most important one, I mean, apart from, you can learn from what other operators are doing and that is really important, but the most important one is you need to harmonize the requirements. You need to um, almost standardize the requirements with all the other operators. So you come to the industry and you come to the suppliers with a single voice. And you can use that towards regulators, towards you know, the European Commission or towards you know, suppliers or you know, other regions if you want, or standardization bodies. But these kind of organizations give you a single voice, a harmonized voice where all the industry is asking for the same thing. Now, Vodafone's doing so much and, and, and is taking a real leadership posi position in this area, but what is next for you on this open and disaggregated journey? Well, I think we have two fronts open. So one is, of course, this will not stop at the radio. So it will also permeate to other areas, starting with transport. Um, and, you know, I'm farther on, Wi-Fi, even, you know, some aspects of core that can still be open. Uh, the reason why Open Run happened first is because the opportunity was bigger in there. You know, the wallet share is, is you know, the majority of, uh, for any operator, but also the um, availability of options in the industry is actually small. So it's fair that we started on the radio, but I don't think it will stop there. So that's one front. It will expand to other domains. Um, in Open Run itself, I think that direction of travel is very clear. It was, you, you could you know, maybe doubt it a few years ago, but now I think it's crystal clear. This is going ahead. And by the end of the decade, a significant proportion of all the networks, of all the operators in many regions will be Open Run. So everything is about making it easier to roll out, easing the system integration and operational, opera, operationalizing it <laughs> more quickly. Well, this leads on to my next question, which is what are some of the key areas that the telecoms industry and the TIP community in particular should be focused on in the coming years? So I think um, I could name two. I mean, the most immediate one is system integration. So there needs to be an organization that probably sitting in the middle coordinates all the efforts worldwide. Otherwise, if this is left up to individual operators to integrate, this is going to be not a duplicate, but a multiplicate effort. <laughs> like everywhere, a lot of people is going to be doing the same thing to integrate the same stack. And that can't happen. So, of course, you can let part of that for operators to talk to each other and solve it. But, you know, the mathematical problem does not scale very well without a central hub to coordinate all the efforts. And I think TIP can, uh, can fill that role. And I think it's a good challenge for us to fill that role. The other area that I think is important for the open run adoption, acceleration, success is semiconductors. I think that's very important. So to have um, affordable and extremely well-performing ad hoc accelerators for open run both in the baseband as well as in the radio is i think the next uh, frontier but those should also be open so for some of those interfaces we will also need some standardization 
So as we move forward with our disaggregation efforts, what are some of the challenges that we, we still have to overcome? I think it's similar to, uh, you know, to, 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 to the two aspects I mentioned. So integration, um, but not just integration, optimization of the integration to, uh, you know, to, to just squeeze the maximum efficiency out of it. Um, have it an industry coordination that ensures that this is available, even not for tier one operators that want to just do it at minimal cost, but maybe for tier two or tier three who don't want to actually do it or can't afford to do it and they can, you know, just get it done or buy it done from others. Um, I think that is a challenge until we get there. Um, the other one is we, I think we successfully created some diversity um, in the surface, if you may. So now you can use different radios with an off-the-shelf server that you can buy from different people. You have plenty of radios to choose from. You have some software, but not a lot, but yeah, there is some optionality. Now, when you open the, these hardware boxes, I think the silicon you see inside is always the same. <laughs> so it's very important that we create also a very rich ecosystem, not like in silicon as a whole, but on the specific different functions and domains of silicon inside the architecture, we need to create more options because we need, you know, better performing silicon that is more affordable and it comes faster. Well, we've got an exciting journey ahead of us. For now, Yago, thank you very much for talking with us. My pleasure, always.